Now, thousands of motorsport fans will head up the M40 this weekend for one of the year's big shows. Scores of businesses, businesses from this part of the country are there. It's a real magnet for the petrol heads. The motorsport industry generates £6 billion worth of business annually for the country's economy. And Autosport International at the NEC in Birmingham is a huge shop window. In 2007, one man did more than most to inject optimism and interest in this sport and therefore the business. Astute observers such as a former world champion on two wheels and four acknowledge Lewis Hamilton brought a touch of British class to the race tracks. It's not only uh, an impact relative to his behaviour on the track, but also off the track. Uh, in this day and age, we've got to have role models, and we've got to come along and excite youngsters and, and get them thinking, well, you know, there's ways to behave and ways not to behave, particularly if you are in the eyes of the public. And Lewis has come through with flying colours. Keeping Britain ahead of its international rivals requires not just racing talent, but also design and engineering skills. Formula Student has created an opportunity for colleges and universities to design, produce and race cars. But what it's really geared to is building more talent. In the mid-90s really, the motorsport industry was uh, facing a skills shortage. Um, there were lots of people who were, who were wanting to design racing cars, there's never a shortage of that. But what was short was people who have the skills to do uh, a complete mechanical engineering degree, but who also have practical experience and know their way around a racing car uh, and have the ability to turn creative, imaginative ideas into solutions that will win on the track. Oxford Brooks has been running motorsport-linked degree courses for 12 years, and the motorsport industry is reaping the intellectual rewards. I did my industrial placement at Red Bull Formula One team because they wanted someone who had a, a, good, a good theoretical background but also quite a lot of uh, practical work which I've done at Brooks. Banbury-based ProDrive has a team at the show demonstrating exactly how to build one of the rally cars they sell worldwide. The company also unveiled the Golf GT1 Aston Martin which will race at Le Mans. A new focus after being scuppered in its attempt to join the Formula One grid for this season. I'm clearly disappointed we're not in Formula One this year. It's, um, you know, we set about it with all the best intentions according to the, the, the rules, the customer car position that was very clearly understood by everyone 18 months ago. But clearly circumstances change quite quickly in Formula One and, you know, you take it on the chin and you, you get on with life. It's pretty quick. And anyone, it seems, can get into a spin at the show this weekend. The team from Mercedes-Benz World at Brooklands in Surrey will happily throw you around in one of their top-of-the-range cars. Thanks to Edward Redfern for the spin there. That's our sport. Mm -hmm.